meters in a championship record. So just to give you the full lineup and give every runner the respect that they deserve, we've got Brethen of Luxembourg, Bibic of Serbia, Rowan West of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Poppin of the Netherlands, Makaleni of Ireland, Augusto, and I would keep an eye out for ben Bastian Augusto. He looked very good winning the French indoor title. Daniel, son of Sweden. Sungström, also from Sweden. Mire of Norway. Hendricks, who we've seen from Belgium. Mechal of Spain. Parsons, Germany. Van der Berth of Netherlands. And Ingebrigtsen of Norway. Vanna Villetta, round two of the women's long jump. She holds the lead at the moment, but it's not a massive distance. It looks like it could add a tiny bit for, for Luke Villetta. European indoor gold. And Heike Dressler has got more. 6.79, she adds three centimetres. Andrei Protsenko, second attempt at 2.26, now over. Excellent jump from Protsenko. He joins Tobias Poiter over 2.26. And also over was Thomas Carmoy as well, as we rejoin the 3,000 metres final. Well, Ingebrigtsen's decided to make this an honest race after a sedentary first couple of laps. Britson getting to the front. Well, they went through 400 meters in a very, very sluggish. Just checking the time. Now, I can't give you the 400 meter time, I do apologize, but it was a sluggish pace. And Inga Britson now got to the front after 400 meters. Thomas Carmoy, well, one failure at 210. But getting over 2.26, this would be a personal best for Carmoy. Has jumped 2.27 indoors, 2.28 out. Jakob Ingebrigtsen is just turning the screw a little bit at the front of this race. A few 33 second maps down to 31. That's a shade under 8 minute pace. 32 seconds per lap gives you that 8 minute pace. Jakob Ingebrigtsen asking for help from Adele Michel. And Adele Michel, new Spanish indoor record at the Birmingham World Indoor Tour final. He's got a kick on him, so it's Charles Grethen, and that's a lot closer to the front than Charles Grethen was in the heat. And here comes Augusto of France, Robin Hendricks just biding his time. Adele Michel is too polite. I don't know why he's taking the, the help, uh, the lead there from Jakob Ingebrigtsen. He should have left him to it. 2.41 through the first kilometre. It's around about 8.03 pace. Very modest for all the men in this field. Dewey Amels now attempting 2.26. This would be a season's best for the Dutchman. Nicely done. Lots of height there for Dewey Amels. Really coming good this season. And he was just off to celebrate and nearly got tangled up with the 3,000 metre men. That was good from the official spotting that danger straight away. Now Jakob Ingebrigtsen back in the lead. That's been a big move from James West to get himself up into third position. He's a 3.34 guy. He's alongside a 3.32 and a 3.33 and Jakob Ingebrigtsen on what, 3.28? It's a 1500 metres man's game at the front here. And they're not running that quick. This is very smart of Jakob Ingebrigtsen. He's running just quick enough to stop the likes of Robin Hendricks and Mike Foppen and maybe even Sam Parsons from saying, you know, enough's enough. That's way too slow. He's moved it into the realms of respectability. And that makes everyone else relax and think, I don't, I don't want to get past you. And that plays into Jakob Ingebrigtsen's hands because if there's a sprint finish, if he's in a good position like this, uh, you know, the turn of pace that he had in the men's 1500 metres that was a ferocious last lap. Adele, uh, Michelle went on to the press and said, I, I watched that race and I knew there's no way I can beat him, which isn't a great attitude to take into a race, but uh, realistic perhaps. Well, Ingebrigtsen has cranked up the pace over that last 200 metres and it's cranked it up fairly significantly. The pace now dropping towards 7.50 mark. And I really think that there's possibly an error of the likes of Parsons and Hendricks not to be more courageous at the front, just to leave it to the sprinters like Ingebrigtsen and Machal. Andre Protsenko, 2.29. He's over. The Ukrainian jumper's over. Once again, back at the 3,000 metres. Six laps to go. 
of Bing Britson's got a habit of doing this. We can see on the graphic on the screen, it's down to 30 seconds per 200 meters. He's lifting that pace ever so slightly. We see this in so many of his races, even at the European Cross Country. With 10,000, he had no right to mix it over a hilly, tough course uh, with men that are so much used to racing over those longer distance distances but Jakobinga Britson doesn't matter if it's indoors outdoors cross country he has picked up so many European titles to come through this time it will be one kilometer to go for the field 233 for the second kilometer markedly faster and it's all been Jakobinga Britson at the front controlling this race yes 515 53 at two kilometers and now it's Inga Britson at the front and he's ever increasing the pace Mechal looking as though he's straining just behind him Bibic up there as well. Bastian Augusto and Roe as well of Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Bibic has moved from a long way back. He's got a good kick as Bibic, the tall Serbian. Possibly the tallest man in the field. Easy to spot in the blue vest of Serbia in fourth place at the moment. So it's... It's absolutely brutal from Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And that was a 29 second 200 meters. He's just inching it down. Now we've got to keep an eye on James West. He's lost his number off the front of his vest. He's not appearing on the graphic. That will have the timing chip. But he is there in third place at the moment. Augusto trying to make a move. All of a sudden it's three laps to go. That's what happens in a 3,000. There's so many laps to go. And then all of a sudden you're into the last 600 meters. Right, well, it's Inga Britson still towing it away. Just 500 metres to go. Machal on his shoulder, struggling it seems, but that's often the racing style of Adel Machal. Bastian Augusto having a great race at the moment. Now Elvin Bibic deciding to get around, around the outside, tucking himself into third. 400 metres to go, but it's still Jakob Inga Britson in front as he's been for the best part of the last two kilometers Machal Machal trying to go through the gears but it doesn't look as though there's much there now the leading three have separated themselves from the rest of the field and it's Inga Britson, Machal Elvin Bibic Bibic having a great race there in third looking very relaxed at the moment in sharp contrast to Machal but Inga Britson at the front he's absolutely majestic Bibic now starting to drift just a little bit off the back now going through the gears, Jakob Inga Britson, he just looks so calm and collected, so fluent in his running style. Machal starting to unravel after that brief attack from the bell, hobbling almost, looking around as Jakob Inga Britson strides away for yet another double. Jakob Inga Britson is not only the 1500 metres champion, but the 3000 metres champion. His time, unofficially, 7.40.33, his 11th senior European title. Who can stop Jakob Ingebrigtsen on the continental stage? And it's a national record indeed for Jakob Ingebrigtsen. He doesn't run many 3,000 metres indoors, but when he does, he is almost unstoppable. Adel Machal stuck to his tax and stuck to Jakob Ingebrigtsen for as long as he could but with about 80 metres to go, Inga Britson was unable to take him with him. And Machal slips back to silver medal. And a very good bronze for Elvin Bibic. 7.44.03, not that far away from his national record as well. And Makaleni of Ireland coming through very strongly over the final laps to take fourth place. Almost catching Bibic for a medal. If I've got it right, that last kilometre might have been 2.25. And that's the damage that did to the field. Adel machal has got great speed in his legs. That's why he was able to live with Jakob Ingebrigtsen for longer than everyone else. But he's sure what it did to Adel Michel. Elson Bibic made the brave decision at the very right time to move himself into a medal position. He saw the damage it did to Augusto. He ended up all the way down the field. Dara Mathohini of Ireland. That was a big, big finish. And wasn't that far off Bibic. Bibic was just a tiny bit more aggressive. 600 metres to go. And I'm just wondering if McElhenney thinks he probably should have followed Bibic when Bibic got up there and crossed the gap and made it, made that move and stayed with them when Jakob Ingebrigtsen was taking the leading trio away. Here we see Jakob Ingebrigtsen as cool as you like. Should be holding up two fingers. 11th <laughs> European Championship.
senior European Championships. That would have been a very good, good thing. Yeah, that was a really good idea. Too busy running laps and laps and laps of the track, isn't it? He is indeed, yes. 12 kilometres, no, 9 kilometres of the track here for Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And surely he's a bit dizzy. You might ask if he can do his warm down the other way around. So it's already been a good day for Norway. Silver in the heptathlon just a short while ago. And now yet another gold for the Ingebrigtsen household. Plenty from Jakob Ingebrigtsen in addition to his brothers Philipp and Henrik. Jakob Ingebrigtsen winning in 7.40.32 a national record at Elma Charles Silver in 7.41 and Elvin Bibic a bronze for Serbia in 740